Hey everybody, welcome to Banjo Quest. We are going to continue our module on how to play up to speed. Last week I got a lot of responses and a lot of people are saying that they can't hear the difference or they're having trouble transitioning between a quarter note timekeeping pulse and an eighth note timekeeping pulse. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I'm also going to show you how this pulse, this switching into burst and switching back into the quarter note pulse can be musically useful. I'm going to just play a little bit, a couple bars of a tune, a classic tune that has this switch in it. So this isn't just for building speed. This is also a super useful musical device that you may want to deploy in creating variations for the tunes you play in your repertoire. Okay, let's get into this. I'm tuned to double C. And we're going to review the burst. So the burst is simply like this. All right, so what a lot of people were saying was that they could play the quarter note pulse. No problem. They could play the eighth note pulse. But when it came to putting those two things together, they would lose the overall pulse. The tempo between those two patterns doesn't change when you're doing this exercise correctly. So I came up with a way to walk you through or get you used to the transition between quarter note and eighth note timekeeping. We're going to vocalize it first. So I'm gonna set the metronome up at 88 BPM. This is gonna be really slow, but that's by design. And I want you to count with me. So we're going to listen to this, and then I'll show you how it maps onto the banjo. So listen, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's your quarter note pulse. Now, eighth note pulse would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now let's put them together. It would sound like this. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. Now, let's map this onto the banjo. We're gonna try it with the metronome. Each click in the quarter note section gets a stroke. So down, up, down, up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You can count with it. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Now let's map the eighth note part onto it. That's going to be one and two and three and four and or down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Let's put this all together. I'll stop the clicking. You're going to drive you crazy. We're going to do a bar of four quarter notes, and then we're going to do our eighth notes, eight eighth notes. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two. I think by vocalizing this stuff, it's a little bit easier to track. It's a little bit easier to get your head around and then add the banjo later. If the banjo, if when you add the banjo, it becomes really difficult and you can't stay in time and you lose the metronome, you can always go back to tapping. So here's another one for you beginners. If you're struggling with this on the banjo, you can do something like this. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one. Two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Wow, it's really slow. It's hard to play that slow. That is a simple exercise, a way to internalize this shift from quarter notes to eighth notes. 
So let me play you a couple of bars of a tune that has this modulation into the quarter notes built in. It's the round peak version of Forky Deer. I'll just play it a little bit. Here we go. So you can see that this is bearing fruit in a number of ways, this kind of burst training. First, we're trying to raise your speed cap. Second, we're trying to get you to be able to track different resolutions of the beat while keeping the same tempo. That's a very powerful way to make your inner clock more robust and rich. And third, it's a beautiful musical way to break up the right hand in claw hammer. You can use it in any tune you play, falling back on those quarter notes to break up that wall of eighth notes that's so common in claw hammer banjo. All right, I hope you guys are having fun with this. I certainly am. Timing for me is everything, timing and groove, and being able to have a rich sense of this time and not being knocked off the tempo when you're transitioning between different rhythms is really important for you as a musician. So keep going. Don't feel like you need to work hours and hours on this every day. Just check in with it every day with, for five minutes or so and it will really improve your playing. There's a lot more going on at Patreon. There's going to be a bunch of surprises very soon in the next couple months. So I do hope you join me over there and I will see you next time on Banjo Quest.